Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl, Tlogalo Promise Rampa, and this is Relocate to Australia with Promise. As you guys already know by now, mm -hmm, it is the number one DIY relocation platform. <laughs> so if you are looking for information about how you guys can relocate to Australia or anywhere else in this world And you cannot afford an agent for whatever reason This is the channel to be at. One thing that you should know Relocating is something that you can do yourself As long as you equip with the necessary information And you've got all that you need in order to relocate It can literally happen A lot of people have done it I have done it also myself So you can also do this thing yourself So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel For more content on how you can can also relocate anywhere in this world especially if you want to come to australia okay so do the things that people do when they're here on youtube all right let's get down to the business of the day as you have seen in my thumbnail today i'm going to be talking about why it is so difficult to relocate why is relocating so difficult why is it so hard you know what guys a lot of things have been happening in my country this past week well a lot of things always happen in south africa so this past week because of what is going on in south africa there's been a lot of unrest and i think people are really re-evaluating their lives where they are at the moment and where they want to see themselves I know it is very stressful because people, especially when there's like political unrest, you feel like you don't have that much power to control what is going on. I understand that feeling and I'm pretty sure a lot of people in almost every country feels like that, especially when there's like a political system that is not working. I noticed that I've been getting a lot of messages from South Africans. Usually I get messages from people all over like in Nigeria, Kenya and all of that because me, I'm an international babe. <laughs> I'm joking you guys, but usually I get messages from different from people who are in different places However, this time around I've been getting a lot of messages from South Africans and they like promise help us We need to leave we need to leave this country and I'm like guys I can only give you this information. There's not much I can do This is information that an agent has access to it is information that I have access to and you can also have access to it Like literally there's no password or any magic word that you would need in order to get this information and you apply it in whatever situation that you in to be able to literally anyone and everyone has access to this information the only thing that i'm trying to do with this channel is to kind of like bring it together for you guys and one thing that i will tell you guys when you go into this whole relocation process you really need to be centered and i do understand that it is very difficult to center yourself when you are in crisis when you're in crisis mode i understand i've been there when i left south africa it was not just the okay let me just pack my bags and go i literally felt like you know what in order for me to survive, in order for me to be mentally okay, in order for me to feel like myself, I need to get out of this country. It was not an easy process. It was not an easy time for me. It was very difficult. I was so depressed during the time when I was back home. If this is something that you want, and I always tell this to people, if this is something that you want, you should be really sure about this because once you go into it, it is a very long, daunting, and very expensive process. I've been saying this. Once you've decided that this is something that you want to do, there is no backing out. You need to persevere. You need to be strong. You need to be wise. You need to, yeah, you need everything during this process. And yes, this process is difficult. It is expensive. It is long. And you cannot compare it to the next person. Somebody else might be like, well, it was easy for me. This is what I just did. Bam, bam, bam. And this happened for me. But for some people, they have to literally go through so many processes before they can actually get to the very end. That's why I felt it was very important for me to have this channel for you guys to encourage you even if it is just providing that level of encouragement to say, you know what, guys, you can do it. I remember watching people living their best life on the other side. And I was back in South Africa and wondering, when am I going to live this life? When is this going to be me? And now it is me. So if you're watching this and you're on the other side, I'm telling you, it can be you one day on the other side. However, you need to do everything and anything and everything that is necessary for you to do in order to get here. And the other thing that I will tell you guys, Ne, I do understand that right now people are like in a friend and people are just thinking oh my god i need to get out like right now it is not gonna happen like that it doesn't happen like that this process is very long it is very long it is expensive it's going to require so much from you that's why it is important for you to know what you're getting yourself into to be informed and to be ready to take on this process okay even if you meet stumbling blocks and you meet doors that close and shut right in front of your eyes it is not the end of the day it is just god telling you that this is not the door that i'm directing you to go knock on another door Go this way, go that way, go this way, go left, go right. And you need to be so 
centered in order for you to listen to God and your ancestors when they are talking. Don't listen to the bad voice, the minions, the bad ones. Don't listen to them. Listen to the good ones because they are the ones that are going to direct you during this process, okay? Relocating is very difficult, obviously, because these countries have requirements. They will require certain things from you. And sometimes when you come from a certain country, it's as if they don't want what you're offering to them. But that is not the end of the day. That is not the end of the day. There are always ways. There's always a loophole somewhere. There's always a way around something. Ask the necessary questions you need to ask. And never, ever, ever, ever give up. For as long as you've told yourself, and I've said this before, if this is an agreement that you've had with your God and your ancestors or whoever you talk to, it is something that they will deliver to you. All you just need to do is to remain faithful. However, when you are remaining faithful, you need to get onto the working of things. You must work this thing. You cannot just sit there and be like, okay, God, help me. It's not working out for me here. And you're just sitting there waiting God to just pick you up and deliver you in Australia. It doesn't work like that. You need to work this process you need to work this process you need to put in the hours it will consume so much of your time it will consume your money it will consume your brain cells literally everything it takes so much from you to get to where you need to get however you need to do it and people right now are in a frantic they're like you know what we need to get out of here like right now and i think also with covid it kind of escalated a lot of things because people lost jobs people really got to see what the government is doing to them because i think some days when things are normal and things are okay you don't really get to see the realities and the truth about what is going on in your country until a crisis hits and you're like hey wait 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 this these are the lessons of COVID. This is what COVID has shown us that, yay, with bad governance, if you have a bad government, this is what's going to happen to you. And it has only come to light right now during a crisis. And I think people really got to see what is going on back home. And they're like, okay, okay, okay. I need to listen to that girl on YouTube and go. <laughs> but what I'm going to tell you guys is allow this fire, whatever that is going on within you, to fuel you because you are going to need that fuel throughout this process because it is long but from the it is so long it is daunting or by the time you are done at the end of it when you get on that plane you'll be like yo i've been stripped everything that i have <laughs> I literally have nothing, but thank God I am on this plane. The other thing that I will tell you guys is that you're going to need to calm down. And I know in the history of calming down, a person being told to calm down has never really calmed them down, but you're really going to have to calm down a bit. Why am I saying you're going to have to calm down? Because it is only when you calm that you're going to be able to now look at what is going on in your surroundings take in everything so that you can also listen to the voices that talk to you whatever that whispers to you and tells you okay now you need to pick up your phone to start looking for jobs abroad now you need to start doing this now you need to start going here now you need to start going there the only time you're gonna ever receive those messages and be able to hear them is when you are in a calm state you have to allow yourself the space to breathe and take in everything in order for you to get the signals of what you need in your life to make sure that your life gets to where you want it to get but if if you're going to allow your brain to tell you hey baba we need to survive all the time when now you're on survival mode it's not gonna help at all and the other thing that i find a lot of people ask me the same question all the time promise i need to relocate please help me okay guess what i've started this youtube channel to help you okay go watch the videos and i say this thing all the time and i emphasize it all the time you have to start go the occupation list you have to find your occupation on the occupation list and then you do your skills assessment. I am a social worker and I know that my skills are on the occupation list. Do you know why I know that? Because I went there and I saw it and I found it. You have to do the same thing. Go there, look, be Thomas Mahola Kaubona. You have to go see it. It needs to be there in order for you to know, okay, fine. Australia is the country that I can go to. I say this so many times. Go to the occupation list and go see if your occupation is there. That is number one. And if it is not there, go look at other countries. There is Canada, there's New Zealand, there's the US, there's the UK. There are so many countries. The world is so round and so big. You will not believe this. But it is so huge. There's so many places where you can go with whatever skills that you have. Don't allow one door that has shut in front of your eyes to be the end of it, to be Alpha and Omega. Do not allow that. 
always keep pushing if this is something that you want for yourself nothing is going to derail you in this journey no rejection is going to derail you it is not something that has been denied to you it has just been delayed so all you just need to do is get onto the working of things and make sure that you find a country that is going to be able to accept you with the skills or whatever knowledge or whatever experience that you have however the only way in which you can do that is if you are able to go look for that information this information is literally everywhere if you have a phone and you're watching me right now i say this all the time if you have a phone and you're watching me right now you have access to the world i truly do believe that you are what you consume if you eat junk food you're going to look like me <laughs> okay i'm joking i don't eat it as much anymore but if you stop eating junk food you're gonna be a healthier version of yourself so yes you are what you consume okay the same thing applies with whatever that is going on in your life if you are consuming things that are not allowing you to step into the life that you want for yourself then you're consuming nonsense start re-evaluating what you're spending your time money and attention on whatever in which you give attention grows i'm a plant mom as you can see so if i don't pay attention to my plants i don't feed them and i don't give them the attention that they need they will die there are some plants that thrive from neglect those are special type of plants but there are some plants that need you to take care of them need you to nourish them need you to feed them and and give them the sun that they need and whatever that they need you're giving attention to them and they will thrive they will be what you want them to be same applies with your life if you want to relocate or you want a new job or you want to change your life or you want to live wherever where you are and you want a new life wherever however you whatever that you want if you give it attention and you think about it every day you meditate on it you feed it you nourish it literally your attention and your focus is on that thing it will come to you however if you have divided attention or you're cheating on the process or you're not giving it what is required for it to come about you should not complain about where you are in your life. If your life is not where you want it to be right now, you must be very mindful and very careful of what you're consuming. What do you have in here? What you are busy with on your phone? Because it will tell you where you are going. Life is very simple. We would like to make it very complicated. However, life is just a bunch of decisions. From the minute we wake up every morning, just making that decision. Am I going to get out of bed or not? Yes or no? It is a decision you make. Am I going to brush my teeth? Yes or no? It is a decision you make. Am I going to eat breakfast? Yes or no? Okay. Am I going to go to work? Yes or no? Whatever. It is just a yes or no, yes or no process. And the quicker you get to the conclusion, the better for you because then you can move on to the next thing. So once you start this relocation process and then you start hitting some difficulties or doors closing in your eyes or whatever, like mountains and more hills in front of you, all you just need to do is to find a way to navigate around it there is always a way first world countries are so strict when they say they want something they want it they will not even negotiate it with you that's why it is very difficult to relocate they will not even give you the time of day they'll, they'll just be like okay do you have this do you have that you don't have this okay bye bye reject your application that's it when i tell you go to the skills occupation list to go look for your skills go there and look for it go do your skills assessment go do it if it is needed for you to write a board exam go write it if it is needed for you to look for a job go do it whatever that is required from you to do do it and always be grateful for whatever that you have right now even if you think it is the most smallest thing be grateful for it because if you come from a place of not having you'll always be without however if you come from a place of gratitude you know that your ancestors and your god have your back at all point in time you will never be without God will always make a way. Your dreams are valid. You can live the life that you want for yourself. All you just need to do is to get onto the working of it. You need to work this thing. This is something that works when you have worked it. You cannot relocate, especially without the use of an agent. Even if you use an agent, you are still working it because you need to pay that person. You need to provide the documents. You are still working it also at the end of the day. If you want to relocate, you need to work this. It only works if you work it, okay? You must have faith and you must believe that you are going to make it to the destination even if you don't know how you're going to make it to that destination. When I started this relocation process, guys, I was unemployed. I was broke, broke who of the brokers. I did not have money. I literally had no idea how my husband and I were going to do this. But there was always this voice saying to me, there was always something saying to me, it is going to happen. It shall be done. It will be done for you. There was a time where we needed to pay for our skills assessment and we did not even have the money. We literally did not have the money. By the time we had to apply for our permanent residency visa, we did not have the money. The day before we paid our visa, we had to go sell our car for that to happen. God will always make a way. God will put things in your life that are going to help you for whatever step that you're going to be taking. 
speaking, but you need to make sure that you are so centered and you're able to understand the messages that are coming from God and what God is saying to you and your ancestors, whoever you are talking to, whatever the signals that you're getting, you need to be so centered that by that time you get that signal, you know, this is what I need to do at this point in time. Because if we had sold whatever that we had earlier, we would have probably used that money. And when the time came for us to pay for the visa, we wouldn't have had that money. So there will always be a way. Right now, you might not even know how the hell am I going to get out of this country? How am I going to do it? I don't have the money. I don't have the skills. I don't have this. I don't have that. But if you continue to dwell on what you do not have, you will continue not having. But if you stop... For a minute and be like okay what do i have i've got me and that is the biggest resource that you have you've got yourself you've got the brain you've got whatever universal energy that is protecting you that is abundance you've got so much and you need to be grateful for that you've got a family be grateful for that you've got food be grateful for that whatever in which you have right now you're watching me be grateful for that so many people would wish to have the data or the phone that you have or whatever that you're using to watch me right now but they don't have it so if you're going to dwell and continue to dwell on what you do not have you will never have you will never it, you, and that is why people are so dissatisfied in life it's because they dwell so much on what they are without not recognizing what they have and the blessings that they have right now in their lives and if you are that person right now that is looking at whatever that is going on around you and you thinking to yourself oh my god this is going on i don't know what to do there's nothing i can do you are right you are not lying whatever comes out of your mouth whatever you declare is the truth if you saying you don't and you can't you are not lying you are telling the truth but if you change the way in which you talk about yourself and your life and whatever that is going on with you you start to believe it it activates something in you that starts to believe it for me i believed i will be in australia and i will find employment in australia and i channeled it and i said it will happen i was told so many times by different agents you will not be able to relocate to australia you will not be able to find employment in australia because you do not have two years work experience and i was like okay you are not god are you my ancestors? Eh, hey, now shut up. You are not. It is because when I had that conversation with my God and my ancestors, they were not there. They were not there. When that voice said to me, you are going to go to Australia. You are going to find employment there. You are going to live your best life there. They were not there. So they will not determine what is going to happen with my life. So change the way in which you talk about your life. Say to yourself, I am going. I can. And I will. I will have. I already have. And this is what I'm going to do with what I already have. And people will think, ah, this one is crazy. She's gone mental. She's Seeing things that are not there, eh? It's because people have the problem of first wanting to see before they believe. However, if you're walking in faith, you are already seeing things that are yet to come. If you think of yourself in a certain place and you say, fine, this is where I want to be. This is where I need to get. You will stop worrying about everything else that is going wrong in your life. And you start concentrating on this is where I need to get. What is it that I need to do to get there? What is it that I need to do? The only thing you have to ask is what is it that I need to do to get it? Where do I need to go to get it? How do I get it? And when you get the answer, look at, okay, do I have the thing right now? Okay, I don't have it. Then where do I get it? How do I go to get it? Simple. Sim you should just be guided by that in your life. Yes, this process is long. It is difficult. It is expensive. You know what? It will strip you everything you've got. However, if you believe that it is something that you are worthy of, it is something that you want in your life. It will happen. And you might think that you're crazy. Or why would I want something so big? Why would I want something that is so impossible? It is because there is something benek and deep within you that is telling you that this is something that is assigned to you. This is something that is yours. And you need to go on and get it. But if you're going to listen to everybody that's telling you, well, you don't fit the description. You don't have the money. You don't have the qualifications. You don't have this. And that's, and that's what you're swimming in and you're wondering why am I drowning is because you're holding on to too much negativity and things that are not getting you anywhere and that's why you're drowning if you want to float let it go if you want to float let it go so that you can get on to swimming to where you need to get the destination is very clear God and your ancestors have directed you where you need to get even if it is not Australia but there's something in your head that is telling you you need to go abroad and even if it is not to live here for the rest of your life it is just for a year or two years just listen to that voice and everything else that is not aligned with what the voice is telling you, move away from it. 
release it, cut it off, just be like, mm -mm, block your ears and be like, mm -mm, child, this is not a conversation that I'm going to be having. If there is something within you that is telling you that it is time to go, listen to it. Listen to listen to it. We've only got this one life, guys. We've only got this one life to live. There's no rehearsal. There's no, hey, I was joking. Let's do this again after you are gone. When you are gone, you are gone. It's done. So you need to make sure that you get on to the living now. You must live today, not tomorrow. This life thing is not promised. If there's something that COVID has taught us that your life can literally be taken away from you just like that. You might have had plans and you're waiting for the right time, for the right moment, for the right environment, for the right weather, for the right whatever. You will wait until, until, until. But when it is o'clock, oh, it is o'clock for you to go. So do not wait for the right weather. Don't wait for the right temperature. Don't wait for the right this. Listen to whatever that is telling you. Now is the time. Today, there's no negotiating. You, are we doing this or not? It is the decisions that you make that are going to get you to where you need to get. Yes, the process is going to be difficult. It is going to be long, daunting, expensive, yeah, stressful, and all of that. However, the biggest resource that you have is yourself. Use you to get to where you need to get. Okay, guys, I'm done. Okay, that's it for me. Goodbye. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>